seventh grader at Lincoln Middle School in Alameda. I attended my first YES conference in 2015 and have continued since then. The conferences opened my eyes to the world and encouraged me to take action. In past conferences, I've learned about ocean acidification, air quality, marine life, aquaponics, which is using fish and turtles waste to fertilize plants and water, and most importantly, what others are doing to make a positive impact. This generation, us in this room, will be the ultimate game changers. We will decide how to combat climate change by the choices we make and actions we take. Some people deny climate change, but there's undisputable scientific evidence. The effects of it are all around. Global warming, ocean acidification, ice caps melting, sea level rise, species extinction, extreme weather phenomenon, and so much more. Here today, we are trying to emphasize that we can make a difference and alter outcomes. You can be part of the problem or part of the solution, depending on what you do in your daily life. Let's have a show of hands. Who carpooled, took public transportation, walked, biked, or took an energy efficient vehicle to this conference? For the people that did, congratulations. You just made the world a little bit better, and I applaud you for being part of the solution. I started by building up my knowledge on climate change. I did this by going to the YES conferences. At my former school, I noticed how many students either didn't care or didn't know what bin to throw their garbage in. My classmates and I conducted an experiment. We found that most students just threw their garbage into the closest bin, so we decided to educate the classes. We made presentations, we made several presentations to grade level, according to grade level, to educate them about climate change and the threat it poses to the rest of the world. The day we made presentations to my little sister Kylie's first grade class, he said that six first graders helped pick up trash during lunch. We were really happy to know that we were already making a difference. Woo! Our next project was a movie night showing the documentary The Inconvenient Truth by Al Gore. We hoped the movie would bring awareness and discussion about climate change. The movie night was so popular that later in the year we showed How to Let Go of the World and Love All Things Climate Can't Change by Josh Fox. My friend Jada mentioned a detail that really stood out to her, that in 50 years, the sea level would rise so much that Alameda, our home, would be completely submerged. We toured the San Leandro Waste Management Plant to learn more about trash. Every day, 5 million pounds of trash are brought to this landfill alone, which serves only half of the Alameda County. And of that 5 million pounds, Five, yeah, five million pounds, 60% could have been recycled or composted. Next, we presented at the 2017 YES conference on how we started to address climate change at our school. School is one of the busiest places for young people, and also one of the biggest places where litter is found. It's also one of the easiest places to make a co positive contribution. You can pick up litter and encourage others to do the same. Bring reusable containers for lunch. Schools can develop, reduce, reuse, and recycle programs. My school, Lincoln Middle, has 74% of the school taking an energy efficient transportation to and from school. They have been named as an Ocean Guardian School for their work on conservation, waste management, and environmental education for the fourth year in a row. They are currently working on obtaining a Green Ribbon Award for their overall environmental efforts. Community decisions make a huge impact. Local governments and communities provide accessible public transportation to everyone. Decide how many trees to plant and whether to implement environmental regulations. The businesses we choose to support and the people we vote into office are essential to our success. My decisions and actions are not limited to school. I go to cafes and bring my own reusable cup. I choose not to use a straw. I bring a reusable water bottle every day. And I limit my meat consumption because animal-based foods in the American diet account for about 85% food-related greenhouse gas emissions in 2009 and about 90% of all agricultural land use. These are just a few of the decisions others and I are making. I am, start, start small, but start. I encourage you to be a thoughtful consumer and be an advocate for the environment in your home, school, and community. Get involved and educate others on sustainable strategies. Fighting climate change takes global effort. Together, we can preserve our beautiful planet for future generations. We make decisions daily. Those decisions can either help or hurt the planet. Now here's the real question. What decisions will you make?